And this is also the power of sequencing compared to structure determination. We can easily afford to determine hundreds of thousands possibly millions of new sequences of the viruses, and we will do so within mere days. There is no way we could determine the structure of all these. But we don't have to, because most of those sequences correspond to very small changes, frequently single nucleotide polymorphisms. There are many databases that are collecting these strains and changes. Uh, the different colors you see there out on the left correspond to common mutants that we've been observing. And then you can click on one of those and then we see this particular mutation in what strains do they occur. So I think this is N501Y, which is a common mutant close to the ACE2 binding site. And the reason we know that is that armed with just a sequence, there are a handful of mutants, we know that the structure is going to be the same. So although we haven't determined the structure, I can plot that sequence on the structure and see what I would expect it to look like. And you see that this, this sequence mutation, the tyrosine residue in this case, occurs pretty close to the binding site when the entire spike protein has opened, which ex could possibly explain why it's influencing how contagious the protein is and how easy it is for it to infect the host cell. So again, it's not that sequencing is better than structure, it's just that we can get much more of it much faster. And combining that with structure and the models that you're used to this far enables you to use both information much more efficiently. In fact, phylogenetic trees is also the re what we've used to be able to predict that the SARS-CoV-2 virus likely came from bats or pangolins. Uh, we haven't quite found the culprit species yet, but there have been several articles pointing out that very similar SARS viruses have been around in species for 100, if not 200 years. The reason we know that is not that we have 200 year old samples, but that we can backtrack evolution and estimate how distantly related these species are. 